There's a demand now in New Zealand for product in those projects to be a little bit different. Everyone's trying to be a wee bit unique. Everyone's grabbing the environmental aspect of it. As a New Zealand manufacturer, you can deliver on that. Yeah, you're building it from the ground up and the net result is a quality product right through that in a good fabric or a good leather you may recover it in 20 years time. If you look after leather it could be 40 years time but it's all designed to be a, a one-off purchase that you have forever and so timelessness of design and style. I'm Andrew Hopping, we've got a company called Montreux Furniture based here in Christchurch, making predominantly lounge furniture for the better end of the New Zealand market. I've been doing that as a family, probably about the mid 80s through to now. That's boutique and flexible, and then you've got the quality aspect of it also. All of our framing is sustainable south and beach framing. This is one of the hardest woods on the New Zealand market, and that allows us to put steel springs into the framing. So in other words, if you've got a good fabric or, or good leather, you're looking at 20 years plus and then they, people recover it. You know, it's almost a sustainable product in itself because of the quality aspect. And there's only a few of us left in New Zealand doing it, most of them based here in Christchurch. Doing it all here allows us to bespoke it or adjust sizing. It's just like tailoring a suit for someone. Everybody in New Zealand is a different shape and size. So this way people can get what they want to fit their lifestyle. Most of our market is better in retail. It's constant change. Probably about 80% would sell to interior designers and furniture retailers for residential projects. That varies from a bar stool through to dining chairs through to lounge furniture and outdoor furniture. The other 20% would be made up of commercial developments. So that would be uh, your restaurants, your hotels, your luxury lodges, golf resorts, things like that. If you're buying anything New Zealand, it automatically has a quality aspect to it. Just the way that we're governed over here, the way we like to do things. The imports coming into the country are very expensive if they're at that quality level. So it gives us a wee niche. So the quality aspect is it waters down the dollar factor of it. The biggest thing in New Zealand, I think people are taking more time to make decisions now and people then pay more for a New Zealand made quality product than for a pretty averagely made imported product. A lot of companies have exited the industry. I mean, I'd have a guess, but I would say two thirds of New Zealand manufacturing has probably disappeared. Yeah, the making of it is going to be an issue going forward. It can't be made by machine. You can't just take people on because that needs your top person to then teach them and therefore they're not producing and you need them to produce the product and definitely it needs the whole market purchasing product, setting up showrooms, yeah, pushing the story, I suppose, more than anything. It needs the people to want to do it. It's a passion. In 10 years time, it'll be different. We haven't changed, and that is about quality materials and quality manufacturing. If you're providing a quality product, it does need a degree of timelessness, or else it's gonna look as though you've made it in 2023. You can't set up a furniture manufacturing company because you think it's a good idea to make furniture. You gotta have the passion, no matter what you do.